It's time for Chow Chow Now with your host, Micah Eats Ashman. That's right, welcome to Chow Chow Now, your inside look of all things about the new Chow Chow culinary event that's coming to Asheville September 12th through the 15th. Do I have that right, guys? Yes. My panel today is uh, sitting here and talking to me about the seminars. Uh, we have Jail here from French Broad Chocolates, Marilyn from the Center of Craft, Kevin from Asheville by Foot. Yes, great. And Charlie, uh, of course, from Solvent Remedies. Yes, that, that guy right there. <laughs> um, so, guys, the, the, these seminars, I, just looking at the list of them, like, they're, they're insane. This is so cool. So, we want to get to your own seminars that you guys are going to be holding yourselves that we can interact with you and just some of the cool things that we're doing or you guys are doing. But just first off, tell me about maybe one of the other seminars that you know about that you guys are excited about. And Marilyn, we'll start with you. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, I did not inherit the flower arranging gene. So I, you can find me at the Setting a Seasonal Table seminar with Emily Copas. She has her own flower farm out in Marshall and is a fabulous person to work with. That is awesome. So all things floral. Mm -hmm. Nice. Jail? There's one I'm super excited about hosted by Ashley English, who's a local homesteader and author. She's written approximately a million books, I think, at this <laughs> point. And one of them is on Packing the Perfect Picnic. Um, so she's going to be talking about that, and every guest not only gets to meet her in person and learn about picnics, but you get a copy of her book as well. So unique. That it's, I've never even heard of something like that before. That's so cool. What an opportunity. Uh, Kevin, what about you? So for me, when I get up in the morning, I don't turn to coffee. I turn to tea. Yeah. So I am going to the tea flight workshop. It's awesome. Jesse from Asheville Tea Company is going to be there. And you know, try six different teas, do a whole flight. A lot of people don't realize that... Tea, it's Asheville's other craft beverage. I, yeah, I tend to agree with you on that. Uh, Kevin, what about you? I'm sorry, Charlie, what about you? I can't decide. <laughs> you can't decide? <laughs> no. Okay, thanks for nothing. No. Uh, Gary Crunkleton's Krunkleton, going to be in town, and yeah. he's kind of definitely cherished in North Carolina, and driving over here to uh, talk about the history of uh, the spirit, what's actually happened here and kind of abroad. Um, and he is, he could talk about anything, and you are just amused for the full couple of hours. I mean, he's a grand old bartender, uh, really great host. So I'm really hoping I can carve out some time and, and get to that one. Um, so then obviously you guys have your own events and I know I'm super excited about a bunch of them. So Jail, we'll start, we'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, can't go wrong. Tell me what you're gonna be doing. So Behind the Bean is the seminar that I'm hosting. Um, in addition to tasting amazing chocolate and the nibs from which the chocolate comes mm. and pastries or confections made with the chocolate, that's enough reason to come. But my favorite part about being in the chocolate industry is the amazing chocolate makers and other companies that yeah. we're lucky enough to know from around the country and the world. Um, so I have three of my favorites coming in from Florida, from Raleigh, and from San Francisco. I did not know that. Um, That's so you get, really cool. Yeah, in this super intimate setting, you get to know these awesome people uh, as I have. So oh, that's We're going to awesome. have just all of us hanging out. and It's, it's cool. literally chocolate front to back, like not just sitting there tasting, learn how to make, but like the production, the bean, just mm -hmm. everything involved. Hear interesting stories from awesome people. That's well, amazing. And to hear Jail talk about it. Yeah. yeah. He's amazing. Is it? Have I you mean, heard her talk about chocolate? her own story and how she got into it. I love hearing just that part myself. And I'm sorry, it's French broad mm -hmm. chocolate? That's the name of a river I here in Asheville. haven't heard of it. <laughs> Marilyn, tell me about your event. Yeah, so we are partnering with a bunch of local restaurants and we are actually using all of their food waste to so create cool. natural dyes out of them. And we'll be making tea towels with a local weaver here, Danielle Burke. Uh, you can make amazing things from your kitchen. Avocado pits make this amazing hot pink color. Um, you can use black beans, onion skins, the whole nine yards. It's really exciting, intimate, hands-on activity. So what a way to take like sustainability, which is really important like to a yeah. lot of people here in, in our region, in our city. And the, the, the food part of this event and put them together in just a, such a unique and cool seminar. Totally. And if you think about it, we have been dying with natural dyes, you know, since the beginning of humanity. Right. And so you tap into this really deep history by taking this seminar. I love it. I love it. Not to miss. Kevin, sir, tell us about your seminar. So Charlie and I have partnered up to talk about the sort of strange history of the cocktail in Asheville in particular. That's right, you guys are doing, this is a joint seminar. What yes, is the name right. of it? 
So the name of our event was that really great long name you just said. That, that, that's <laughs> Toast of the Town. Toast well, of the Town. They didn't hear me just give it to you, but yeah. the Toast of the Town walking tour and cocktail hour? Yes. It would be that yes. Way. yes. And yes. you guys are doing that together. Yes. That's exactly right. Tell me about it. So we're going to talk about how Asheville was early to Prohibition. Yeah. And late to the end of Prohibition. Yeah. And <laughs> but the, they kept drinking. And, but yeah, well, they kept that's, drinking. Yeah. that's the point, right? Yeah. And go through the ins and outs of that and how um, really the modern cocktail comes out of Prohibition, which seems a little paradoxical, but that's the way it worked. So so talking about that, what what else is going on in the tour? I mean, tour and cocktail. So the tour, where, where are you guys going? So Asheville is a boom town in the 1920s. It literally doubles in population. It's on the path to being one of the major southern cities. Mm. It has literally hundreds of thousands of folks coming in, people of wealth and fame from all over the country coming to Asheville. And with that, frankly, despite prohibition, Asheville had a pretty serious party scene that went on uh, both in town and on the outskirts of town. And so we're going to talk about that nice. and go around and see the physical transformation that happened to Asheville much of the city we know and love today is a product of the late teens and 1920s in Asheville. And through that lens, Incredible. we talk about the, the craft of the cocktail coming about. Right, you know, right. Basically, you get really crappy product, you gotta doll it up some way, and so that's where you see all of the re resurgence of cocktails coming in now. We're all from that era to make that gin taste palatable. And they'll be drinking things as well, right? Absolutely. Learning and talking, learning and but drinking. also drinking. There is a very Absolutely. like connective learning uh, method that we're and using. And the drinking <laughs> makes the learning more fun. Yes, Absolutely. to a certain point. <laughs> right. And, right. And have to tell you, Michael, we're going to talk about some secret tunnels in Asheville. There's a lot what? of crazy talk about secret tunnels in Asheville. Some of them are actually true, and we'll talk about those mm. on tour. All right, so listen, obviously, there is just, I mean, so much to be learned, so much fun to be had, so much, so many cocktails to be drunken. <laughs> drinking. 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 You. Drinking. Kevin, you're the expert here. Um, so listen, this is what you need to do right now. Do not hesitate. ChowChowAsheville.com. All of the uh, seminars that they were talking about, their own and more, you can find the full list there. Buy tickets, go to these events, do not waste time. They will sell out. There is some urgency on here. As a matter of fact, on some of these events, there's only a few tickets left. So get there now, chowchowashville.com. Guys, thanks for being with me. Thank thanks for having us. us. All right, this has been Chow Chow Now. I am Mikey Eats Asheville. We'll see you on the streets.